So hello everyone and a very good morning to all of you. Welcome back once again to the session of PIP 24-7. I am Manish Mishra and guys in today's session I will bring to you another 5 important questions from the PIP news which are important for ESI section of the RBI grade B exam. And now uh, 2019 final result has come so uh, now you have to boost up your preparation for the 2020 notification because we are expecting that it will come in the month of uh, December this year only okay so boost up your preparation and all the very best so let's begin with the session guys but before we begin do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon and also you can join this telegram group for daily quizzes and updated information about the sessions okay and this is the first question so name the webinar series that was organized by science for equity empowerment and development which is the seed division of the department of science and technology which works under the ministry of science and technology okay so this seed division is of the department of science and technology and seed remember stands for science for equity empowerment and development all right to strengthen science and technology capacity of ngos and communities so basically जो हमारे एनजीओज और कम्युनिटीज है उनकी साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी की जो कैपेसिटी है उसको स्ट्रेंथन करने के लिए दिस वेबिनार सीरीज वाज लॉन्च नाउ व्हाट इज द नीड ऑफ दिस वेबिनार सीरीज गाइस बिकॉज़ एनजीओ और जो हमारे कम्युनिटीज हैं वो काफी ज्यादा रोल प्ले काफी बड़ा रोल प्ले करते हैं इन आवर टुवर्ड्स द कंबैटिंग द सोसाइटल प्रॉब्लम जो सोसाइटी में हमारी रिलेटेड प्रॉब्लम्स है लाइक हंगर हो गया मैल न्यूट्रिशन हो गया वुमेन एंपावरमेंट से रिलेटेड अगर कोई प्रॉब्लम्स है तो एनजीओज और कम्युनिटी मिलके uh, they uh, they together fight against that uh, societal problems okay so unko science and technology wise upgrade karna is quite necessary so that is why this uh, webinar series was launched and the name of the webinar series is what option c science society and setu okay science society setu is the name of this webinar series and it was conducted by science for equity empowerment and development which is the seed division of department of science and technology as uh, i told you earlier and it was to strengthen science and technology capacity of the NGOs and communities. All right. It is guys aimed at bridging the systematic gaps in science and technology absorption capacity jo hai, uh, of the community and enhancing the knowledge capacity and livelihood systems for sustainable development at local level by strengthening the science and technology capacity of NGOs and community. Basically, jo, uh, uh, NGOs or community hai, jab unki science and technology capacity enhance hogi, then they will also provide, they will also be able to provide that. Uh, technology enhancement to the society okay and these are the four sectors that have been covered uh, in charo sectors ke upar zyada dhyan diya gaya hai like we have agriculture and allied sector msme and economic sector social infrastructure and cross sectoral areas okay so these are the four focus areas of the webinar series in charo areas ke jo ngos or communities hai unki science and technology development ke upar kaam kiya jayega uh, in this through this webinar series okay so therefore guys the correct answer is what option c science society and setu okay and now let's come to the question number two which is again a very important question because this is a new scheme that has been launched by national cooperative development corporation okay once again yes so this new scheme ncdc aishman sahkar scheme okay ncdc national cooperative development corporation has launched this new scheme uh, for under this scheme health infrastructure will be created by the cooperatives okay this scheme is all about the creating of creation of health infrastructure by the cooperatives so the question is how much is the fund allocated under the scheme that is to be given as term loans to the cooperatives iske is scheme ke under ek fund allocate kiya gaya hai total kitna fund hoga aur us jo jo fund hai that will be provided as the term loan to the cooperatives for building the uh, health related infrastructure okay so let us discuss about the scheme first. So this scheme, Ayushman Sekar scheme has been launched. Under this, uh, we have an Ayushman Sekar fund of rupees. How much? 10,000 crore. 10,000 crore ka NCDC Ayushman Sekar fund hai. And this scheme has been launched for creation of healthcare infrastructure by the cooperatives. And this scheme is formulated by, of course, as the name suggests, NCDC, National Cooperatives Development Corporation. And this, guys, NCDC was established after the NCDC Act of under the NCDC Act of 1962, it is headquartered in New Delhi and current managing director of NCDC is Mr. Sandeep Kumar Nayak. Sandeep Kumar Nayak is the current uh, managing director of this uh, uh, organization and there are various other schemes of NCDC also like some time ago we had US Haikar scheme. Ke mein padha tha. They have also uh, Sahkar Mitra. They have Sahkar Mitra scheme. 
and they also have Sahkar 22 scheme. Okay, so these are some various other scheme that has been launched by NCDC along with Ayushman Sahkar scheme, which was recently launched. Ki gai hai, okay, and this scheme, guys, will cover establishment of establishment, modernization, expansion, repairs, renovation of hospital and health uh, hospital and healthcare and education infrastructure. And this education infrastructure, ki pe baat hai, guys, remember. This education is related to the medical education only because यहाँ पे केवल medical infrastructure की बात की गई है तो ये जो education infrastructure है हम यहाँ पे एक word आया है that is also related to the medical education okay and NCDC would extend term loans to the cooperatives to the tune of rupees ten thousand crore rupees का उनको term loan दिया जाएगा so that they can they uh, they will be able to build the uh, medical infrastructure okay working capital and margin money to meet operational requirements will also be provided and Interest subvention of 1% will be provided to the women cooperatives. If any cooperative women run run kiya jata hai, then 1% interest subvention will be provided to them. Okay. So this was about the scheme, and therefore, guys, the correct answer is what? Option B. Rupees 10,000 crore. 10,000 crore ka total fund hai. NCDC Ayushman Sahkar fund that will be provided to the uh, cooperatives as the term loan for building health infrastructure. Okay. And now the question number three. With which company Niti Aayog has announced to establish Frontier Technologies Cloud Innovation Center to solve societal problems using technologies? So Niti Aayog ne guys a Frontier Technologies Cloud Innovation Center. Basically, a center hoga that will uh, that will provide uh, to the society that will provide to the uh, to all the stakeholders related to the technology. Unko ye center kya kya provide karega? Basic technological ideas provide karega so that they will be able to solve. The uh, relate uh, to uh, to solve the problems of the society or problems of the society like for example healthcare infrastructure education infrastructure you know agriculture ka infrastructure so जो भी हमारी societies में problem है उन सभी को with the help of technology solve करने के लिए this center uh, has been announced to be established called cloud innovation center और पूरा नाम है frontier technologies cloud innovation center and this has been announced by Niti Aayog in uh, collaboration with Amazon Web Services. So the correct answer is what? Option D, Amazon Web Services. All right. So Niti Ayo guys and Amazon Web Services have announced the establishment of Frontier Technologies Cloud Innovation Center. And this CIC, Cloud Innovation Center, is the part of AWS, Yaniki Amazon Web Services, CIC Global Program, which provides an opportunity to government agencies, non-profit organizations, and educational institutions to come together to solve societal problems using the uh, using the emerging technologies, okay, and it, this uh, collaboration has been done to address societal challenges through the digital innovation, as I already told you, okay. So therefore, the correct answer is what, guys? Option D, Amazon. Amazon CEO is Jeff Bezos, Google Sundar Pichai, uh, Twitter Jack Dorsey, Facebook Mark Zuckerberg, and Microsoft it's Satya Nadella, okay. So now let's come to the question number four. With respect to the cost of a plate of food report 2020, this report guys is very important because ye, uh, this report jo hoti hai, bahut uncommon hoti hai, but they can be asked in an exam. So there is this report, the cost of a plate of food report 2020 that was recently released by the United Nations World Food Program. And of course, you all know that the United Nations World Food Program has got the Nobel Peace Prize for the year 2020. Nobel Peace Prize 2020. Or kyo mila ilko Nobel Peace Prize because during the coronavirus pandemic they have done uh, a commendable job of providing food to the needy. Okay, so we have to identify the correct statement regarding this report. Okay, so let us first discuss the report. So this report has been launched by United Nations World Food Program and remember the name of the report: the cost of a plate of food. Okay, and this has this report has been released to determine the cost of a plate of food that citizens pay for their meal in the different countries and the total countries that were mapped are how much 36 total 36 countries ka index is mein banaya gaya and if we talk about the ranking so the number one is at at number one it is south sudan yani ki jo south sudan ke andar jo cost of a plate hai wo sabse zyada costliest hai wahan pe jo citizen hai wahan ke jo citizens hai they are spending the most part of their income uh, towards food okay bottom pe new york hai and india it is 28th india 28th ranking pe hai and people in south sudan spend 186 percent of their income on food apne khane apne income ka 186 percent wo kiske upar kharch kar dete hai food ke upar new york mein it is 0.6 percent india 3.5 percent 
एंड मैक्सिमम कंट्रीज जो है इस लिस्ट में वो सब सारे अफ्रीकन कंट्रीज है बिकॉज ऑफ ऑब्वियस रीजन बिकॉज दीज कंट्रीज आर रिलेटिवली पुअर ओके सो दिस वॉज दिस रिपोर्ट एंड नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट सो पीपल ऑफ साउथ सुदान स्पेंड मैक्सिमम परसेंटेज ऑफ दर इनकम ऑफ फूड अक्रॉस दी ग्लोब ये दिस इज ऑल्सो दिस इज एब्सोलूटली करेक्ट इन इंडिया पीपल स्पेंड थ्री पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट ऑफ दर इनकम ऑफ फूड दिस इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट एंड इंडिया रैंकिंग इज ट्वेंटी एट दिस इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट विच मीन्स ऑप्शन डी ऑल आर करेक्ट विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर हेयर and now let's move on to the question number 5 which is the last question for today this question guys can be asked as a one mark question in your exam because ye loan pe based question hai isme do teen cheeze hi hoti hai jo ki aapko yaad rakhni hoti hai like kisne loan diya kaun se state ko loan diya and what is the purpose and kitna loan hai so these four things that you have to remember who gave the loan to whom the loan was given and uh, what is the purpose of the loan and what is the corpus of the loan what is the amount of the loan right so how much amount of loan has been sanctioned by asian development bank okay so the loan giving bank is asian development bank to upgrade 450 km of state highways and major district roads this is a purpose this loan has been given to upgrade 450 km of state highways and major district roads of maharashtra okay so kisko loan diya gaya hai maharashtra ko and what is the question how much amount so this amount guys is 177 million dollar okay So, ये चार चीजें आपको याद रखनी है किसने लोन दिया किसको लोन दिया किस चीज के लिए लोन दिया और कितना दिया राइट सो एशियन डेवलपमेंट बैंक हैज गिवन दिस लोन ऑफ 177 मिलियन डॉलर टू महाराष्ट्र टू अपग्रेड 450 फिफ्टी किलोमीटर ऑफ स्टेट हाईवे एंड मेजर डिस्ट्रिक्ट रोड ओके एंड इफ यू टॉक अबाउट एशियन डेवलपमेंट बैंक सो इट इज हेडक्वार्टर्ड इन मनीला इन फिलीपींस एंड रिसेंटली अशोक लवासा हैज बिन अपॉइंटेड एज द वाइस प्रेजिडेंट and can you tell me who is the chair who is the president of asian development bank write down in the comment okay so guys that's it for the session the correct answer here is option a 177 million dollar and that's it for the session i hope aapko ye session acha laga if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching milte hain kal ke session mein goodbye take care and god bless